definitely in my chicken mom era right now. This is our littlest chicken. This is the littlest chicken. Oh, they're pecking my freaking toenails. I just got my toenails done yesterday and they're like white and they're just like pecking at them. They think they're treats. Hi, little one. Hi, little one. We haven't really named all of them yet, but she is so flipping cute. Look at her. Look at her. I'm legit hanging out in my chicken coop. <laughs> my husband finished building this the other day and it's like the cutest thing. There's like little like swings over here and we have a house cleaner in the house. So I was like, let me just get creative. <laughs> um, it has been, I'll have to do a video just about the chickens. Like it's been something that I've, like I have wanted to have chickens like so, for so long. Or look at her little hairdo. She's so cute. We're still getting them like used to us and everything. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to like hop on here and do like a kind of a life update. Um, I don't know if anybody really cares or like wants to watch it, but like I think for me, it'll be cathartic and it'll be good for me to kind of just, you know what I mean? So even if nobody watches this, which they probably won't because the YouTube algorithm has been complete dog shit for I don't know how many years now, but um, just, I've just been like, I was just like uploading and I was like, cool, like here we go. And then I just had a bunch of stuff happen and so I'm gonna not go into detail on a ton of it, but um, I have just gotten a little bit more childcare help um, for my one child that is not in full-time daycare. And I'm feeling very good about that because I wasn't ready for him to like be in full-time daycare at eight months old. I am not ready for him to be out of my house like that, but I do need more help. Um, to be able to do, you know, all of the things that I want to do. I really enjoy making videos. I enjoy making reels. I enjoy that. It's like a big, even though I don't make any money doing it anymore, I, you know, enjoy it and it's a hobby of mine. So I want to get back to more of that. And we've also been house hunting for my parents. I'm literally waiting to hear back right now if the offer we put in is accepted or not. They were reviewing offers last night. So that's been a lot too. Um, but something personal has been going on with me that I'm not gonna like dive into. Hopefully it will pass soon and it will be fine. But at the end of the day, I think everything is working out the way that it should. And, um, it has nothing to do with like my marriage or anything like that, but just something personal that I'm not going to talk about, <clears throat> but that has been really weighing on me too. Um, and yeah, so I've just been trying to like, it's been really difficult trying to just like keep my house in order, you know, and keep food on the table and like work and like take care of all of our animals. And so it has been a lot and it's been very challenging. And we also, if you've been watching, um, and keeping up on Instagram, we have like, we like ripped out our entire sunroom and we put like a gable roof in there. And so like that, it, like just dealing with like contractors and like dealing with like getting this coop done, even though I didn't do anything. Nick did all of this. Um, if you want to tour, let me know. Cause I would be happy to show you how amazing he did on this. Like he built this whole thing from scratch. Um, so dealing with contractors for that and just deliveries and you know, then this morning, like I swear <laughs> sick. I've been, I feel like I've never been more sick in my entire life than when I became a mom. Like I'm that person that was never sick before. And now I'm pretty much like always sick. Um, I feel like Harlow has like a perpetual, just like runny nose and like cough, like all the time. So that's been fun. So yeah, I didn't go to the gym or, um, anything for a while. I have gotten my results for like my hormone panel that I did and all of that kind of stuff. And I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about that in like a dedicated video probably, but I have started some treatment things. Um, and I have been trying to kind of figure out if I want how much of that I really want to share because the internet can be a really mean place. And I emotionally, can't really handle that right now. And I just kind of like know that. So I, I don't know. I might share it. I think I'm leaning towards sharing it just because this, my YouTube channel and like my channels have always just been a way for me to connect with you guys and be honest and like share everything. And I find that 
to be therapeutic for me in a way and I also just like I don't know I just don't like keeping secrets <laughs> it's not my jam so um, I think I'll probably share more of that with you uh, but yeah I am excited for that whole journey and I'm excited to see how that's going because I've kind of spoken a little bit recently about like weight loss being like a big block for me right now and it's been really difficult to lose any weight um, and now after the hormone panel I kind of have a little bit of an idea why that is um, my uh, insulin levels are really high um, like I won't go too far into it but I'm not pre-diabetic but like pretty much almost there so uh, yeah there's that and you know my testosterone has always historically been really low so anyways all of that kind of aids in weight loss when those are all where they should be so um, uh, so anyways that's been like one thing that's just been bugging me and you know I'm comfortable like in my own skin like I'm not gonna not wear a bathing suit or something but like the fact that I haven't been able to fit in any of my old jeans has been kind of like weighing on me a little bit and I just feel kind of more sluggish and like I've been tired and um, you know being a first responders wife you know not having your husband home all the time whether you're a military wife or whatever you know what I'm talking about or a single mom it's challenging it is and it's hard to find time for yourself in there like sometimes like I'm about to like plop into bed and I realize that I haven't showered so it's it is a hard job and it's kind of thankless um, you know unless you have a wonderful husband that I do like I do like last night I just like kind of lost my cool got on the shower I was like I gotta take a shower so what does he do he pops up five minutes later and is like I heard that uh, shower wine is like really awesome and brought me like a glass of cha champagne I don't even drink champagne really um, a glass of rosé which was super nice so kind of the weight loss thing, the sluggish, like the being tired and just feeling super overwhelmed with, um, with like just keeping my house clean. The fact that like YouTube makes me no money anymore has been like a really hard for me to navigate with selling my company a few years ago. Like, yes, I got a beautiful chunk of change that I invested for my family and for myself, but like making money on a week, a monthly basis is like almost non-existent for me. And um, I'm not complaining about it. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm super blessed. Like that's not what this is. But for someone who's like an entrepreneur who loves to like make money and like work and like it's been really hard for me to kind of not be making any YouTube videos not really like I feel like I'm just like barely scraping by with everything like the house like smelled like dick this morning and I'm, I'm the type of person who doesn't like leave dishes in my sink at all but the past couple days I was like you know what I have to do something else I have to edit an Instagram video I have to do something I want to do so I just let them pile up and then this morning I was like oh shit I gotta clean the house for the house cleaner do you know how that is like if you have a house cleaner have you had one before maybe you know what I mean but it's like you know anyways so, um, yeah, I've just been trying to kind of like keep my head above water a bit, you know, first world problems. Um, but all of that has been kind of difficult. And then my dad has just declined in health over the past five. Oh, that's my toes, girl. She's like pecking at my toes. My dad has declined in health over the past like five years. Like right before I met Nick, my dad was like hiking and biking and they moved to Prescott, Arizona and like loving life and um he doesn't watch my youtube channel so i feel okay talking about this and knowing that he knows watches my youtube channel except my stepmom but um his health has been declining and it's been really um just challenging to like watch happen like it's sad to watch your parents get older and he um got tested yesterday and he might have be in the first early like the early stages of parkinson's you know he's got a lot of symptoms that point to that and you know as terrible as it is to potentially have the diagnosis that he does have parkinson's it would also make it so much more clear as to like what the path is moving forward he's had two surgeries in the past like <laughs> that's 
that's foghorn leghorn sorry um he's had two surgeries in the past year to help like with his back like he doesn't walk well he's been falling down a lot my dad is not old he's like in his 60s like i think he's in his mid 60s and um you know he walks like he's like 95 years old he walks like he's nine, like 95 years old he has been falling a lot um you know, he's just got a lot of symptoms and for his sake, I won't go into them because I'm sure that they're probably a little embarrassing um, for him, but it's, I just read the list of symptoms for Parkinson's and I was like, yep, 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 <laughs> yep. And so that's been really challenging and it sucks to like watch your dad just like one of your parents just completely decline in health. I'm glad that my dad is still here. But it's just also as shitty. Like I was telling Nick, I was like, dude, I wish you had seen him when he was like water skiing and like, do, you know, all active and doing all this stuff. Um, so that's been that's been hard, and that's one of the reasons why we're trying to get a house so that my um, dad and my stepmom can move a lot closer, so that we can help with my dad, and that you know, like Nick can do projects with my dad, and my dad can garden again because in Prescott, like during the winter, you can't grow stuff and whatever. So that's kind of like everything in a nutshell, and I'd like to go more into it on a different video about the chicken coop, about um, my garden, what I'm going to do with my aviary. I have an animal channel in case you did not know that here on YouTube. I don't update it as much as I'd like, and I'm hoping that changes with the new childcare that I have for Wyatt. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to free up some of my time to like kind of get to the gym more. Um, meal prep a little bit more, keep my house a little more tidy. Um, also been going through a really challenging time with Harlow right now. Like we moved her to a big girl bed and um, I swear she's like a neat freak. So I don't know if this is it, but she doesn't want to sleep in her new bed. She like has been sleeping on the ground, like on a pillow, like with a blanket. And I like watch her and I'm just like, what is she doing? Like that looks so uncomfortable. Nick's like, I slept on the floor as a little kid. Like I was fine. And so she walks up to her bed this morning. She's like, it's messy. It's messy. And I'm like, I just made your bed. Like, I just made that, like, yesterday. And so I don't know. Like, she's very particular about messes. Like, which is funny because I don't ever talk about it in front of her. Like, the living room and stuff is driving me insane. But I don't want any of my weird, like, little quirks and habits and, like, OCD stuff to, like, rub off on her. So, like... I'm cleaning a lot and I don't know if she sees me doing that, but I like, I don't know. And like, if she drops something, I'm like, okay, we got to clean it up. But like, I won't, I don't like make a big deal about it. So I don't like really know where it came, it's coming from, but I don't know if she thinks the bed is messy, but she will literally cry at the door and she'll just cry and scream for mommy and daddy for like an hour or sometimes from 7:30 when she goes down to almost 10 o'clock and I'm just like and we do the whole thing where we go in we put her back in the bed we you know we don't just like shove her in the room and close the door like don't don't get the wrong idea but we've had to figure out how to like lock her door from the outside to make it safe for her because she was like coming out and so I have to sleep with like the noise on the monitor really loud because like I just need to know what's going on in both the kids rooms like at all times like if they're choking it like so I keep the noise up but it's just been like difficult to deal with like her new like resisting bedtime and she's got three molars coming in so that's been challenging too and Wyatt is also teething at the same time so that's been fun she's also been going through this phase where she's like very clingy like if we go to someone's house that she's known like almost her whole life she will legit just hold on to my leg like a little barnacle and I am her safe space so I don't like push her off of me or anything like that. I pick her up, I hold her, I comfort her, and I let her know that she doesn't have to say hi if she doesn't want to. She doesn't have to hug them if she, if she doesn't want to, um, but it would be nice if she said hello. So I've been trying to like navigate that. So if you guys have any tips for me, like, and you've been through that or something worked for you, let me know. Cause like all I'm trying to do is like, I don't want to like encourage the clinginess because it is, I think, not beneficial for anybody but at the same time I don't want to feel like I don't want to make her feel like she doesn't have a safe space in me um, and then I won't pick her up and stuff like that so I'm trying to like navigate that in a way that's like healthy for her we will start to get eggs from our chickens in like four months or something like that I had a dream that there was like an egg in the little thing the other day and it was super cool I'm like I woke up and I was like oh shoot that's not real they don't 
they're not gonna lay eggs yet. I, and then I, you know, just uh, turning, social media has just been a really interesting thing for me. It's been very humbling actually to like not make anything on social media for the past four or five years. Um, it's been really interesting, it's been humbling, but it's also been like terrifying because like this has been the way that I make my money for since I can remember. And the fact that like my AdSense deposits are like $300 or $400, um, and don't get me wrong, $300 is $300. Like I'm happy that it's coming in, but it doesn't get you much in this day and age. And um, so I, yeah, I, it's been just kind of a weird wild west kind of a situation where I'm just like, I guess I'm just gonna like put up whatever I want because it doesn't matter and it doesn't get any views anyway. So it's been uh, interesting to like find a new crowd, you know, find my new crowd. I know a lot of you have been here for a really long time and some of you don't even have kids and you're still here and I like love you for that. But um, also like adding to the family, like, right? Like there was an exodus of people when, when I had drama a few years ago more than a few years ago. Um, and there was an exodus when I had kids, you know, and trying to like find like more um, people who are into the same things that I'm into that like wanna watch my, that wanna watch my content has been like, I don't know how to do that. So I'm navigating all that too. And I know I'm not the only one. Like I watch Raw Beauty Christie and I feel like she's kind of like in the same boat. She's like, views are dog shit. I'm like, well, your views are amazing compared to mine. Um, but you know, it's all relative, right? So anyways, I've just been babbling. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, anyways, I've just, that's been kind of where I've been at. And like, I am like excited to have more help with the baby so that I can like keep the house as clean as I'd like, focus on healthier eating, focus on the gym and then create more content because I love doing this and it's something that I really enjoy. And it's a great creative outlet for me and I haven't really been able to do that like my office has been an absolute disaster and I just like found the time because there was always something that like ranked more important than cleaning up my office but I finally like was like I don't want to do this but I cleaned the entire thing the other day and I'm still working on it I still have a lot of organizing to do and I want to make it cuter so I like want to be in there because it's hard to be in a space that's just like cluttered, messy, dirty. It's like hard to be creative and just like relax and like relax just into your like element. But I just cleaned it yesterday or the other day. So I'm working on making that space better and something like somewhere I want to be. Um, so yeah, just kind of, that's like all, all, my, all my baggage, uh, what I'm dealing with right now, so. Um, I won't bore you guys any longer, but thanks for watching if, if you're still here and if you are still here I'd love to hear what you guys are watching the most of like on YouTube and like Instagram Like I saw somebody said the other day that they think like makeup tutorials belong like on an Instagram reel Like in a quick kind of manner and then like YouTube's like more for like vlogging and like stuff So I'm curious to hear like your take on it. I find all this stuff super fascinating and like insights and like all that kind of stuff. So I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Like what have you been watching on each platform? Um, and what, what interests you? Like I would love to hear. But anyways, I'm gonna um, feed these girls some treats and they're like chasing, trying to chase around this like fly. I'm like, you're never gonna catch that fly unless it's close to death where they just kind of sit there and do nothing. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video and hopefully it won't be a month from now when I post it.